Good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Neetu Gailot. I am working as an assistant professor in St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management, Gurgaon. I am from Applied Science Department and I am taking subject chemistry. And today I uh, covered the topic of the unit first. These are the effective nuclear charge and the other topic is the electronegativity. So now my first topic is effective nuclear charge and the second topic is the electronegativity. Both topics are very important in our periodic property, periodic table and in our previous lecture uh, we uh, discussed the um, atomic radii and uh, the penetration or, or, of orbitals. So now I come to the next topic. This is the effective nuclear charge and it is denoted by the Z E double F effective. And the one more important topic of today's lecture is the electronegativity. So students, these both topics are very, very important for our exam point of view. So please be concentrate and listen carefully. <coughs> Now, come to the definition of the effective nuclear charge. We all know about the nuclear charge and now that is the another topic of that is effective nuclear charge here. So, the attractive positive charge of nuclear proton acting on valence electrons. The effective nuclear charge is always than, always less than the total number of protons present in a nucleus due to the shielding effect or the screening effect. So therefore, the effective nuclear charge Z effective is given by the relation that is the Z effective is equal to the total number of charge that is denoted by Z and minus uh, the screening constant which is denoted by the S. Here, or we can say that uh, the actual charge felt by the valence electrons is called the effective nuclear charge and the repulsive force felt by the valence cell electrons from the electrons present in the inner cell is called the shielding effect or screening effect. So now we know the effective nuclear charge is due to the shielding effect or the screening effect. So here is the formula by which we can calculate the effective nuclear charge. That is the Z effective is equal to total number of charge that is or total number of charges Z and the minus the screening constant is denoted the S. So now Shielding refers to the core electrons repelling the outer ring and thus lowering the 1 ratio to 1 ratio. Hence, the nucleus has less grip okay, on the outer electrons and are shielded from them. Okay, nucleus ne charge lagaya, nucleus ka charge hai, uh, electrons ke upar. So, if suppose last electron is on the last electron, then the other electrons are in the inner shells, then the nucleus will not come completely to the electrons. So, they screening or shield here. So, this is the shielding effect or the screening effect. So, it means that the complete charge nucleus ka electron ke pe jana chahiye tha, wo usko, ab us, uh, electron ko us charge ke attract nahi kar pa raha hai. So that is the effective nuclear charge. So now, as the order of electron penetration from greatest to the least is SPTF. So these are the orbitals. So first of all, which orbital is S orbital? So the penetration. Uh, so there, the order of the electron penetration from the greatest to the least is the SP and uh, D and F. The order of the amount of shielding down is also in the order of SPDF. So the effective charge of an atom 
is given by the equation that is z if active is equal to we know that is the z minus s okay where uh, we can say that z is the atomic number or uh, we can say that these are the number of protons in the nucleus and s is the shielding constant so now from this equation it is clear that the effective nuclear charge of an atom increases as the iski wajah se padega number of protons in an atom increases okay so therefore as we go from left to right it means in the periodic table that we goes to left to right in the periodic table so the effective nuclear charge of an atom increases clear and which rule is uh, work here so this rule is called the shelter rule or the effective nuclear for the effective nuclear charge so here uh, the some here are the some points by which we can calculate the effective nuclear charge <clears throat> firstly first point is the electrons of greater principal quantum number we are uh, we everybody know the quantum numbers na in a uh, 11th or 12th class you have already um, learned the, about the principal quantum number here so now the electrons of greater principal quantum number contribute zero okay then second if the electron being screened in s or p electron other electrons with the same principal quantum are contribute 0.35 okay next the electron with it means the electron with n minus 1 here the n uh, n electrons they contribute 0.35 and n minus 1 contribute 0.85 and the electrons with principal quantum number less than n minus 1 so these contribute only one okay now this is the value of um s so now come to the third point if the electrons being screened is a b of or d or f orbital electrons agar electron screen kisko kar raha hai d or f electrons pe screening hai so with the same value of n contribute for n ke liye 0.35 and other electrons with the same or the lower value of n is 1 okay now here the one uh, example is here that effective nuclear charge for a 3p electron in phosphorus this is the example here the effective nuclear charge for a 3p electron in the phosphorus so we know that the um, value of z is equal to 15 here and the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 okay if uh, uh, we can calculate the effective nuclear charge for the 3p electron and uh, if the config electronic configuration is the 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 so we know that here the total uh, students there are the some mistake you can uh, correct this so that is the 3s2 and 3p3 also not 3p5 here Uh, you can cal calculate the 3p3. Okay, then as we know that the uh, atomic number z is equal to 15, so that we know that uh, in the uh, if uh, uh, n the uh, n quantum number, so there is a one 3s2 and 3p5 here. So the total number of uh, electrons in the third shell these are the five. So now uh, for effective nuclear charge for the fifth electron. and uh, there are the four remaining electrons are here so the screening of these four electrons are the 4 into as we know that is the 4 into 0.35 and uh, then uh, in the second cell so there are the number of electrons are the 8 so that uh, n minus 1 value of the n minus 
uh, is 8 into 0 0.85 and plus where is the uh, less than n minus 1 so the value is 1 then the number of electrons are the 2 here so this is the value is equal to the 10.20 okay so z effective is equal to z minus s this is the total number of electro, uh, uh, electrons or protons and uh, and uh, the s is equal to the screening constant so as we know there is the uh, phosphorus so the atomic number is 15 and the z uh, value of s is equal to 10.20 so the value is 4.80 i again repeat that uh, students uh, please correct the number of electrons in the 3p or 3p orbital so here are the 3p3 not 3p5 it is a mistake by me so you can, can uh, you can correct them so now um, here uh, this is the effective nuclear charge for the 3p electron in the uh, phosphorus you can uh, calculate the other um, uh, for the other uh, if, uh, suppose 3p5 or 3p7 is uh, 3p5 or 4s so you can calculate now the effective nuclear charge so the, here is the one uh, question one exercise for you that uh, calculate the effective nuclear charge uh, for oxygen atom uh, and the last electron of the oxygen so uh, as we know the oxygen electron uh, atomic number of oxygen is 8 so the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p4 okay uh, so the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 and 2p4 so here we uh, calculate the effective nuclear charge for the last electron for oxygen atom and uh, it is the uh, we know that the in the second shell so there are the total number of electrons are the four okay number of electrons are the four and we want to uh, calculate the effective nuclear charge for the fourth electron so so there are no, uh, another three electrons are present here so the effective for effective nuclear charge we can calculate the three electrons in the second shell and the two cell for the first uh, first cell so you can calculate the effective nuclear charge for last electron of oxygen atom easily i repeat again the effective nuclear charge here the effective nuclear charge again uh, as we have discussed so i repeat the effective nuclear charge it is a uh, if you listen carefully so then it is very easy so first of all uh, I, uh, I already discussed and now i want to the revision of the effective nuclear charge so here the effective nuclear charge is the attractive positive charge of nuclear proton act, acting on valence electron the effective nuclear charge is always less than the total number of the protons present in the nucleus due to the shielding effect or the screening effect so here that is the formula by which we can calculate the z effective so z effective is equal to total number of the charge that is z minus the screening constant is denoted by s so here the shielding effect refers to the core electrons repelling the outer ring and thus lowering the one ratio to one ratio so the nucleus has a uh, less grip here on the outer electrons and the shielding from them so here's the formula and the hardware and one more thing that the uh, order of the electron penetration from the greatest to the least is the spdf the order of the amount of shielding done is uh, also in the order spdf so effective effective charge of an atom is given by the equation z effective is equal to z minus s so here as a, a rule which uh, work here that is the shelter rule uh, for the effective nuclear charge and uh, by, according to the shelter rule and uh, follow the rule then we calculate the effective nuclear charge so i i told you again uh, i uh, request you again that uh, please correct the 3p3 is here not 3p5 okay so now come to the next topic which is very very important that is the electronegativity so now come to the our uh, next topic that is electronegativity it is also very very important topic and uh, now we start our topic 
the electronegativity of an element is the tendency of its atom to attract the shared pair of electrons towards itself in a covalent bond here one, uh, uh, listen carefully and uh, concentrate on the each word that is the attraction uh, attract the shared pair of electrons one word is the shared pair of electrons and second the most important point is the covalent bond is here so the electronegativity of an element is the tendency of its atom to attract the shared pair of electrons towards itself in a covalent bond <coughs> here it is represented by the x and pronounced by the chi k double i so when a covalent bond is formed between two homonuclear atom which uh, in which uh, there are the homonuclear atom so the, the there is a covalent bond is formed so the shared pair of covalent bond lies exactly midway clear between the nuclei of the two atoms both because both the atoms may have the same attraction for these electrons clear if the example of the h2 and 2 c2 f2 these are the molecules so the electron pair remains exactly at the half distance between the two nuclei and so the electron pair may be closer to one atom than the other atom if the case is heteronuclear so here uh, uh, we are talking about the two types of the nuclear there is a homo and a hetero in the homo we have uh, we know that uh, in the case of the homo the shared pair of electrons of the covalent bond lies exactly midway theek hai kyunki dono dono homo same hai to usme bilkul wo the between the nuclei of the two atoms because both the atoms have the same attraction for these electrons theek hai then come to the next and uh, that is the hetero so uh, uh, in the homo we take the example of the molecules such as the hydrogen cl2 f2 the electron pair remains exactly at half the distance between the two nuclei and in the case of hetero nuclear so here the electron pair may be closer to one atom than the other atom अगर सपोज हम ले लिख हम कोई भी दूसरा लेके चल रहे हैं अपन लिख रहे हैं एच सी एल सो इट मीन देर आर दोवरेंट बॉन्ड सपोज शेयरिंग ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन इज इयर दैट मीन दोवरेंट बॉन्ड इज इयर सो वी नो दैट सी एल है पार्शली नेगेटिव चार्ज एंड एच बॉज है पार्शली पॉजिटिव चार्ज सो इट मीन्स की मे बी द इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर मे बी द क्लोजर टू वन एटम दैन द अदर सो दिस इज ड्यू टू द फैक्ट that different atoms have the different tendency to attract the bonded pair of electrons towards itself clear then greater the ability of an atom to attract electrons in a bond okay the larger is the value of its electronegativity okay the ability of an atom to attract electrons in the bond jitna zyada hogi ability इलेक्ट्रॉन्स को अट्रैक्ट करने की तो द लार्जर इज द वैल्यू ऑफ इट्स इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी सो इट इज दी नो दैट द इट इज द रिलेटिव प्रॉपर्टी सो देर इज द नो यूनिट एंड देर इज नो डायरेक्ट मैथड टू मेजरिंग इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी ओके देन वट आर द फैक्टर्स विच अफेक्ट द इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी सो हेयर आर द सम फैक्टर्स फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी we uh, discussed one by one so first of all we take the uh, first uh, effect for the, at the size of atom first is the size of atom so here we can see that the atom uh, with a small size have the higher value of the electronegativity okay electronegativity is inversely proportional to size clear right it means uh, uh, that the atom with us agar suppose the atom with a small size So have the higher value of electronegativity because uh, the uh, that the small atom have the higher effective nuclear charge. Clear? Eh? Therefore, the shared pair of electrons is pulled more strongly by the nucleus, and the electronegativity is too high. So this is the size of atom. Second is the nuclear charge is here. Here we can see that the nuclear charge. Suppose uh, 
uh, it is uh, the relation between the and electronegativity and the nuclear charge so it is proportional to nuclear charge it means ki positive charge jaise increase hota hai hai na positive uh, increase the positive charge so the number of proton increases and the uh, electronegative is also increases next come to the charge of cation here if we take the example of the fp2 positive and the fp3 positive so it means ki effective nuclear sorry electronegativity is proportional to the positive charge of cation clear hai bilkul bhai positive charge jitna zyada iska hoga iske matlab electronegativity jitni zyada increase ho jayegi now come to the next uh, that is the type of the hybridization in the in this uh, this is very important topic of um, factor and here uh, we know that the s orbital are the nearer to the nucleus than uh, in comparison to the p d and the f orbitals because of their higher penetration power clear and here uh, we should remember that uh, uh, the uh, hybridization suppose sp sp2 and sp3 and uh, s character uh, the percentage of the s character we can uh, uh, see here that in the sp hybridization there are the 50% s character here if one dono hai to 50% ye 50% p so here the uh, percentage of the s character is 50% now the sp in the sp2 there is a 33% s character and sp3 there is a 25% s character so effective uh, sorry uh, here is the electronegativity for uh, sp hybridization there is a 3.29 for sp2 there is a 2.75 and sp3 there are the 2.48 these are the values of the electronegativity so the s character increases in the order there is the ch4 c2h4 and the c2h2 and the electronegativity of the carbon in the in these compounds also increases so uh, we can see <coughs> this is the the uh, relation uh, or electronegativity and the s character so this is hybridization effect of hybridization now now the trends of electronegativity in the periodic table so um, first is the variation along the period a longer period means uh, if we goes to left to right in the periodic table so we know that we know that the electronegativity increases here so it, because it depends upon the uh, atomic number and atomic number increase and the nuclear charges also increase uh, if it goes to the left to right in the periodic table so the electronegativity is also increase and here on moving along the period at the electronegativity increases as we move from left to right because the atomic size increases nuclear charge increases so the electronegativity increases next in the variation along the group so in the uh, group the electronegativity depends upon the effective nuclear charge and we know that uh, in the uh, group if we uh, the, uh, top to bottom so that uh, the size increases uh, size of the atom is increases hence the electronegativity decreases because size increases hoga so it means the effective nuclear charge increase ho raha hai okay so that the electronegativity decrease ho jayegi so electronegativity uh, decrease upon the effective nuclear charge so going down in the group so z effective sorry z effective decrease uh, uh, with the uh, atomic size so z effective decrease and the electronegativity is also decrease now i repeat again in the variation in the period uh, uh, if we going to left to right so it means the electronegativity decrease because electronegativity um, uh, depends upon the atomic size uh, in the left to right so atomic size increase hoga and uh, nuclear charge is also increase so the electronegativity increase here and uh, in the variation in the group so here the size decrease in the group and when we goes to the group the size is increase and when the size is increase it means the effective nuclear charge is decrease and the electronegativity depends upon the effective nuclear charge so it is also decrease so going down in the group the effective decrease and has the electronegativity decrease down the group so here uh, we should uh, learn some points according to the police uh, police scale following scale 
<coughs> Let us for the period of first of year two and period three, there are the electronegativity of, of uh, some uh, compound that uh, atom. These are the for hydrogen it is two point one, for carbon it is two point five, and hydrogen three, oxygen three point five, for fluorine it is four, for phosphorus two point one, sulfur two point five, Cl three, Br two point eight, and I two point five. So these are the value of the electronegativity. And here we can see that the uh, uh, high electronegativity of fluorine, then oxygen, then the, the nitrogen and fluorine are the same, then Br, then I, uh, iodine, sulfur, and the carbon has the same electronegativity, then phosphorus and the hydrogen are again same electronegativity, that is 2.1. So uh, electronegativity give uh, uh, this is very interesting and the important topic. Electronegativity gives and the indication of the bond type. Okay, we can calculate the here the bond type also because uh, uh, the bigger the difference in the electronegativity, the more ionic ionic the bond is. Electronegativity difference jitna jada hai, it means the wo utna hi ionic bond hoga. So electronegativity value can be used to predict the bond type. Here are the some points. The first point, difference in the electronegativity between two atom of greater than 1.7. It means it indicates the bond is ionic. And if the electronegativity between the atom is lesser than 1.7, indicates that the bond order is covalent. And the polar covalent, an un uneven share of the electrons here. So the electronegativity is difference of more than zero, but less than 1.7. And the 100% covalent bond have uh, electronegativity value of zero but uh, it is possible in only the same element uh, this may be f2 h2 cl2 so the, here we take the one example in which we can uh, uh, we can see the um, bond order or uh, any character there is the hf in the hf we can see the h has the electronegativity value is 2.1 and the f has the electronegativity value is 4 so the difference between them is the 1.9 okay and uh, it is the ionic in the character and the stability of the bond in the molecule it is like this so we have the hf with the 1.9 hcl is 0 0.9 hvr is 0 0.7 hf is the 0 0.4 so this is the stability order of this okay and uh, here the one more thing is uh, uh, also here that uh, we can uh, uh, we can check the metal or the non-metallic character by the help of electronegativity. So, as we know that the electronegativity increase the non-metallic character. We know the uh, metallic character shows the less than one electronegativity. Yeah, na? So, uh, non-metallic character, in, uh, so, uh, sorry, uh, electronegativity increase the non-metallic character increase. So, uh, the electronegativity decreases, the metallic character increases. Okay. So for example, chlorine with the highest electronegativity of uh, 4 is the uh, most non-metallic element and the cesium with the lowest electronegativity uh, that is the 0 0.7, uh, it is the most metallic element in the periodic table. So we, uh, this is the another application of the electronegativity. So now uh, I complete my lecture. in the electronegativity so um, please uh, read care carefully and if you have any query or doubt then can then contact with me and the one uh, i repeat again that there is a one question that you can calculate the effective nuclear charge of the last electron of oxygen atom okay then thank you